think they're gonna be okay. Yeah. They're, the point guard is the main. Yeah. They should be fine. What? Uh, I mean, this is the first training camp for you without all those familiar faces since you've been here. What's it like now being the, the lone face, you know, that people recognize on this franchise? It's, it's weird, man. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, and I, it's, it's hard for me to believe it. It's, it's my seventh year. And, and you know, I started, we started with a, with a big group of guys here. And, and you know, and it, it's hard to believe. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just me from the, that original group that I came in here with. But it's... Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a new, I think it's a new new chapter here, and it's exciting. It's, it's an exciting time for, for, for the Hawks right now. When you went into the summer, and uh, you know, with all the cap space and the expectations of what might be, is this what you plan in terms of the rest of the roster, or is it just the way it goes when you're talking about free agency and um, attract the players? Yeah, I, I think more than anything, it's, it's kind of the way that it goes. Um, if, uh, you know, um, I think everyone at times can kind of make their own mental pictures and things like that of how things should go. But uh, most importantly for me, um, uh, you know, they, it wasn't 100%, let's say, like I wanted, but at the end of the day, I, I, I believe in Danny, his vision, where he wants to go. I, I think that Jeff T was the most important thing. It was important for, for me that we had to get him back here, just knowing his play, and, and, and I know he's gonna get a lot better. So I'm, I'm happy to see that you know that he's here and, and Kyle, you know, that, that's such a great player and, 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 and had such a great year last year. So um, and we added some some other great pieces. So um, you know now it's it's just about it's, it's, it's now it's just time to start working. Al, did you have a good idea as the season went on last year that guys like Josh and other players that you've been with from the beginning would probably not be here this year? Uh, there was a lot of uncertainty. Um, uh, you know, I know that. The Josh, uh, I kind of knew that something was going to happen there because I felt like he he wanted to go out and explore, you know, other options and, and try to do what was best for his family and, and him. And, um, and, and you know, I kind of saw that one. Um, you know, uh, that Zaza was the one that I didn't know what was going to happen with him and if we we're going to have him back or no or not. And obviously, it worked out for him um, over in Milwaukee. And you know, he's a close friend of mine. And, um, this point, you know, I'm just wishing him a, a speedy recovery and, and him to get back and, and get back playing again. Is this but, your team? I believe so, man. I mean, you know, at this point, I, you can say that, but uh, most importantly, um, you know, I'm a team player, so uh, you know, not, not one person is going to make that big of a difference. Uh, I think that we all understand that uh, in, in the locker room. Is that part of the this is weird feeling for you, though? <laughs> It's weird because not 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 that part so much, but I think it has to do more with you create these relationships with all these players in the past years, and whether it's you know Joe Johnson, and Marvin, and Zaza and Josh, and you know now they're gone. It's kind of like you come back around in September, like you know, oh, like, you know, oh, oh, and like you know, you see all these new faces, and it's 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 tough. But um, you know, I still have you know Jeff here, and I'm with Kyle. Up on my rooks, they're still rookies. <laughs> so, until the, the first game of the season, Mike Scott and John Jenkins are newer guys. But, um, you know, we, we have something here, and, and you know, obviously with Lou Williams, and, and he's coming along, you know, at a good good pace. So, I'm excited about that. But, I'm excited in, in, in what I've seen so far. We've been working here for a couple weeks already here in September as a team, and I like what I see. Your faces oh, no, have changed, but it seems like the expectations, the expectations on the Hawks are still low. Is it's kind of been over the last couple of years? What do you have to say about that, and what do you actually see as realistic expectations for this team this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if you look around in the East, and you know, our conference has gotten so much better, uh, especially you know those top teams. You know, Chicago's healthy, Brooklyn. I mean, everybody knows about all those top teams, but I do feel like. Um, you know, we, we have a group of guys here that, that are workers, guys that you know that want to get better. And I think that the quicker that we gel and we develop our chemistry, you know, the better we're going to be. Is it a better team than last year? I mean, I mean, if you're looking at it on paper, both on the outside, you would think what you lost and what you brought in that you took a step back. How do you um, see it? Uh, it's going to be interesting. I think that um, I think that we're going to be we're going to be okay. I think. Um, it's hard to compare right now. 
uh, you know, last year and this year. On roster, if you look at it last year, you can argue that we were better. But um, but I, I've, I've been with these guys a few weeks already. I see, you know, what type of guys that we have here. We got some guys that are going to work hard. They're going to put in the time. And as long as...